So people ask me, they'll say, hey, uh, what's it like being a new pilot and having a Cirrus, you know, transitioning from a 172 and then going right over to a Cirrus? It's pretty daunting. Going from a 172 to an SR-22, insurance, they're going to get you. Think of it like this. You're buying a house that flies. Ooh, shit. Little power, little power, little power. Clear right. Looks like they're doing some painting on these here hangers. I've already been cleared, so I better not be stopping. I'm going to piss off the uh, controllers. If they give you a clearance, you get on your way. You don't just sit around and go when you feel like it and piss somebody off. There's Foxtrot 1. Oh, he's coming down quick. Damn, if you guys could just see what I'm seeing half the time. All right. I want to know when these guys are cleared and where I'm at in this world. Another busy day in Long Beach. Gotta love it. Serious, I believe that's 301 Charlie Delta Long Beach Ferry. If you up, uh, go ahead and try to take that left side. Those Cessnas are not departing for a little bit. All right, I'll grab the left side. One Charlie Delta. And tower for 381 Charlie Delta. What's the sequence for me? Serious, one Charlie Delta. Are you ready to go? You're number one. Ready to go, sir. Serious, one Charlie Delta. Runway 26 left. Clear for takeoff. Same departure request. All right, runway 26 left. Clear for takeoff. It'll be a straight out departure. One Charlie Delta. Number, number, number one Charlie Delta. Roger. I'm so excited. Here we go. Which crew track is on the right side of Fox Run 1? Because of power. Crew track 140 on the right side of Fox Run 1. Let's go, Cross, CD. Let's go, CD. Make a 180, hold short on a 26 left on the other side. All right. Airspeed is alive. Both places. Hold short on a 26 left on the other side. Crew track 148. November 4, Delta Sierra. Woo! We got traffic. 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 Traffic, traffic. Boy, oh boy, do we got some stuff happening today. November 1, 3 Lima, turn base, running 26 left, play for the Austin, Boeing 737 lands, running 30, prior to you. Turn base, 26 left, turn for the Austin, 1, 3 Lima. Okay. November 6, 7, 4, 3, on Long Beach, what was the request? Uh, southbound departure, Cessna 67431. Traffic, four, three, traffic. Four, three, traffic. Three, three, running 26 left, clear for takeoff. Uh, two six left, clear for takeoff six seven four three one. Got a nice wind coming off that uh, ocean there. All right, we're gonna climb four thousand five hundred. Let's get ourselves all right. Test one three Lima traffic will be in position. Clear that. Clear that. Clear that. Three, Lima. November four Delta Sierra turn base over to six eight one. Direct. Base over to six oh five four Delta Sierra. BP car enter enter. Magenta line boom right there. And let's go nav once, twice, for GPSS. Global Positioning System Steering. All right. Now, we can't fly into clouds. and There's clouds right ahead, so I'm going to have to find the seam right in between. Do some Maverick-type stuff. No, I'm just kidding. Maverick-type stuff. Wish I was that cool. Damn, we got some winds coming off the ocean. Yeah, so we're 2,400 or so. Yeah, we're right where these clouds are. Good God, guys. November 1, Charlie Delta, frequency change approved. Frequency change approved. 1, Charlie Delta. Have a great day. Good. Goodness gracious. All right, now it's chilling out a little bit. Just start getting above the clouds. They said it's going to be a windy day. For traffic, you can start the left turn now. All right, here we go. So it's 1, 2, 0, 1. More bumps. And it's clear over LA though. 17, 18 knot wind coming from this direction now. Before it was coming off my left side, now it's coming off my right side. So I'm going to be flying directly into an 18 knot headwind. Loverly. All right, there's 4,200. Let's get our altitude set here in just a second. She's already starting to turn. 4,400, 4,500, boom, altitude hold. Golly, I love me some flying. Once we get ourselves leveled out, let's go ahead and get to the engine page. Pull some power back. Because we don't need to be going too fast through this area. I'm going to go 60% because I do have that headwind. Yes, sir. Okay, let's get our lean assist in. Pull the power back. And that was bumpy on the climb out, good lord. 
Whatever. It's all part of line. 14, 13. What am I thinking? Probably 11.5 is what I was going to want. Pull a little power back. We're going a little too fast. Remember, we're going to keep it under 140 LA Special Flight Rules. All right, there we go. What did I say? Oh, shoot. 10.3 gallons per hour. Man, that's beautiful. Oh, too lean? All right, talk to me, Goose. That's coming. 10.5, like what it was. Coming over here. All right, let's see. We're five miles. LA Special Flight Rules, White Cirrus, 4,500 northbound. We are five miles south of LAX, LA Special Flight Rules. I think there. Good lord. Get that back. Let's open up our visibility. Golden. So people ask me, they'll say, hey, uh, what's it like being a new pilot and having a Cirrus? You know, transitioning from a 172 and then going right over to a Cirrus. Um, it's it's pretty daunting, I'll tell you that. Um, I remember the first time I took off in this plane, um, you know, from a 172. I mean, no, no hate on a 172. Those are great little planes. Um, but, you know, they're just not that fast. Not really. They're great little training airplanes. Um, high wing, so it's cool for looking down and sightseeing, that's, that's what's up, I mean, these low wings are, you know, pretty rad too, but, you know, you, you can't see right underneath the wing, you know what I mean, that's the only thing, but other than that, I mean, it's a sleek looking airplane, way faster uh, than a Cessna, I think that's kind of a given, um, this thing is perfect for cross-country flights, like, so if you're interested in doing, like, cross-country flying, you know, for me, I'm going to go to Houston in a, a week, and, uh, you know, I can make it seven, seven and a half hours in this thing. So one stop, I'll stop in New Mexico, refuel, stretch the legs, get a bite, and get back on it and, uh, and complete the mission to Houston. Try that in a 172, you know. Uh, you could do it. Hell yeah, you could do it. It's just going to take you longer. You know, it may take you 40% longer for that trip and an extra stop, you know. So speed, ergonomics, I mean, dude, I'm sitting here and it feels like I'm in pretty much a car, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I don't have this yoke and I don't have this, you know, really tight little spot. I have like plenty of space. Um, it's really rad. Let's make a call. LA Special Flight Rules, White Cirrus 4500 northbound over LAX. LA Special Flight Rules. And, uh, I mean, it's just like, it's just a really, really nice airplane. They got the yoke here. Some people say, hey, what's it like, you know, going from this, or in this case, this, and holding your hand on the throttle to this? Nothing, really. I mean, it's no different. Uh, you're using more wrist than you are turning. Other than that, I mean, that's really it. But it's, it's completely out of the way. You... You ever put your arm inside of a car and it had the little handle here and you just kind of hold on to it? It's the same thing. It's it's so awesome. You just, you just fly around. You can hold it like this in case... One more call. LA Special Flight Rules, White Cirrus, 4,500 northbound over Bologna Creek. LA Special Flight Rules. Um, but yeah, I mean, it feels so comfortable to be sitting in this thing and going for long flights. Not a problem. The flight to uh, LB, or Long Beach, and coming back to Camarillo, 23 minutes, man. You know, after you take off, you're airborne. About a 23 minute flight, depending on you know what kind of winds you're dealing with. Now I got a crosswind. All good. Uh, that's just gonna turn into a tailwind when I'm going that direction towards uh, Camarillo. Uh, the airplane itself, uh, these aren't the cheapest things in the world. I'll tell you that. Uh, I have a G2, so this is a 2005 with Avidyne and uh, the G430s, this non-WAS G430s. So I'm doing my um, IFR rating in this plane right now and it's harder than hell, right? I mean, the what they're saying about IFR is probably one of the hardest uh, to learn uh, and as a rating and they're damn right. I mean, it has to be. But once you have it, you're much more proficient as a pilot and you're able to do more things. So, anyways, that's IFR. So if you're like interested in getting a 
you know, your pilot's license, and um, you want to do some some real flying, yeah, get your IFR. Instrument flight rules. Rad. Hard as hell, but rad. Uh, more about this plane. You know, um, I am absolutely in love with this thing. I, like, I, I hug it every time I see it. This thing is just an absolute little beast. Um, you know, it, it just does everything you would want it to do. Um, back to price, you know, these things can run anywhere. Like if you get like a G2, I wouldn't rec... I mean, I really do like the G2 because obviously I have it, so kind of a biased opinion, but... Um, it's a great airplane. You're going to spend less money. Um, I think the one thing I will do very soon is get myself some new avionics. I think what I'm going to want to do is get Avidyne um, throughout. So I'll get rid of the Aztec 55X um, autopilot and I'll throw in uh, Avidynes. I think it's like a something 90. I forget what they called it. Um, and then the big screen and the smaller screen. So the 650, or 750 and 650, I do believe. Or is it the 550, 440? I think that's what it is. I think it's the 550 and the 440. I'm getting the Garmin's and uh, Avidyne's confused there. Anyways, but if I, you know, when I do that, I think this thing will become an absolute mission monster. Ah, trademark, I like that. Mission monster. Uh, how much gas have I used? 3.7? I'm going to switch over. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to wait a little bit longer because I had two gallons more in this tank than that. Okay, whatever. So anyway, uh, but yeah, so I have this thing. It's pretty much stock. Uh, how Cirrus built it in 2005. Minus uh, the transponder and this uh, Garmin GMA340. I think they, the owner previous, he put those in. And so that's, that's pretty cool. But... Uh, I'm going to end up changing some stuff here in a little while. But anyways, I absolutely love this thing. You know, here's, here's one thing I will say about this. When you're, when, you're lease, or when you're buying a plane like this, think of it like this. You're buying a house that flies. Because this thing can cost you anywhere from 350 to 400 That's what about what some houses cost, right? And they're going to put it in a 20-year loan. Kind of reminiscent of a, of a house, right? Get ready to make our turn here. Well, we got some bumps. Got a bunch of hills, you know, below me. So we're feeling some bumps. Um, but anyways, so your payments, you know, are going to be kind of like a house payment, truth be told. So if you can afford like a Range Rover, because I was looking at a Range Rover one time, just for the hell of it, to see what they would charge me. It was like $2,000 a month. $2,200 a month after everything was said and done. I was like, damn. For an SUV? Like, oh my god. You know, you don't even fly. You just look cool. But anyways, so in something, you can spend something similar to that and fly an older model Cirrus. You know, you might be paying twenty-five up to three thousand dollars a month. Your insurance, you know, ranges. I, for me, the, again, I'm a newer pilot, so my first round getting insurance was special flight rules. Cirrus eight one six Charlie Chango three thousand five hundred southeast bound over Bologna Creek. I like special flight rules. Well, we're getting shoved around, aren't we? Uh, let's go one twenty-eight point two. Pull this bird down just a little bit. Definitely not loving all that bumps. All right, cool. Got to watch your VA, guys. All right, 28.2. Got me active. Uh, Roger, we're looking for that traffic. Let's know we have it in sight. And then we're going to go one... 21.8. That'll be our ground. Okay, so we got a tower in. Sorry, guys. I got, uh, I had to make sure I get myself set up for landing here. We're 21 and a half miles away, so you don't want to make a call to them until about, uh, I don't know, about 10 miles out or so. Well, anyways, so, uh, finishing my statement, uh, yeah, 
new pilot going from a 172 to an SR-22 insurance. They're going to get you. They're going to get you good uh, because you're you're flying a high performance airplane. And uh, the thing is, is you're going from a regular trainer to a high performance airplane, 310 horsepower with this, and uh, they're going to get you. You know, it's not going to be the cheapest thing for me. I think it was like eight grand for the first uh, for the first year. Eight thousand dollars, man. You know what I mean? So a lot of people look at these prices and go, "How in the heck?" You know. When you own a business, you know, like I do, you, and, it's, and it's being used for business uh, purposes, good God, these bumps, uh, then you can write this stuff off, you know, and the business can pay for, you know, the fuel and the payments and everything else, you know, create an LLC, the plane is uh, being held in that. So, you know, I'm able to do it. Like I said, I feel blessed to be able to fly this aircraft. I mean, I'd like to be able to get myself to a G6 one day. Uh, or G7, whatever comes, you know, first. But uh, right now, I mean, I am completely happy with this platform. You know, these Avidines are so rad. You know, like this thing is telling me turbulence. It's already telling me, hey, dude, you're going to be in turbulence around this area. And they're not lying. This thing is telling you the truth. Uh, mountain obscurations, it's saying that, you know, there's some, there's possibility. This yellow line is saying there's a possibility of, uh, IFR conditions. When I look, I don't see any IFR, but it's good to, you know, at least say, hey, you know what, with the spread, the way it is, you know, it's, you know, you might encounter some uh, visibility issues or get into an IFR situation. Let's get ourselves set up for a descent. 800 feet per minute drop. Eh, let's go seven. 700 will be fine. All right. Let's go ahead and get it going, and then let's pull some power back. Turn this back up again. Probably busy as heck over here. It usually is. Puts about 30% power here. You see how busy these guys are? Camarillo, Long Beach. Why do I have to fly at the two busiest airports, I swear? Cessna 5156, Juliet, you'd appear to be still pilot. gaining on your traffic. Did you have them in sight? I think. Yeah, uh, we have them in sight, 56 Juliet. Cessna 56 Juliet, Roger, okay, so we got like Papa. you can a tight right 360 for that spacing, or a left 360, whichever works better for you. Good lord. We'll do a right 360, 56 Juliet. You know, I'm going to turn off my autopilot, I'm going to hand fly, in case something weird like uh me having to bust a 360 to the left or something happens and i'm almost gonna bet you it's gonna camera tower good afternoon sirius 381 charlie delta is 10 miles to the east over the grade inbound with papa sirius 381 charlie delta camera tower make straight in runway 26 make straight in runway 26 one charlie delta all right cool i'm gonna follow this freeway in over the grade so we're at uh, 2,600, plenty of clearance. Clearance, clearance. Anybody of you uh, watch airplane? Experimental 5, Romeo, Papa, Camera Tower, make left traffic, runway 26. What's 26? my clearance, Clarence? Left traffic, 26, 5, Romeo, Papa. What's my, what's my vector, Victor? <laughs> uh, Shift 1, Charlie Delta, reduce speed to uh, 110 knots if able. I have multiple aircraft going to be preceding you on final. Reduce to 110, 1 Charlie Delta. All right, pull all the way back, pull the nose. Let's get to two laps, 50, we're good. Keep it under 119, he says he wants it under 110. Let's add a score to power. County 5, camera tower, departure from non-movement area. We'll be at power zone rest, wind 250 at 9 or proceed via the fix. Five, six, System 56 Juliet number two following Cherokee two mile final runway 26. So now we're going nice and slow. for the option on the go right down when is approved. 106 indicated. Number two, clear for the uh, runway 26, clear for the option. 56 Juliet. Twin Star 97 Delta, you ready? 97 Delta, we're ready. November 97 Delta, left close traffic approved runway 26, clear for takeoff. Left close Wind traffic. Is this boy is going to be busy Two, all day. Clear for takeoff, 97 Delta. Cessna 3, Bravo Golf, number 3, follow Cessna 3 mile final, runway 26, clear for the option. Runway 26, clear for the option, number 3, 793 Bravo Golf. Cirrus 1, Charlie Delta, number 4, following Cessna extending in the left downwind, runway 26, clear to land. 
Number four, two six, clear to land. One Charlie Delta. Number four. All right, let's get some zoom in. All right, I want to see what's going on. All right, extended downwind. So there should be some boy popping around right over here to my uh, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock or so. Tower pipeline 548 Mike Alpha, clear your airspace to the east. Thank you. Pipeline 8 Mike Alpha, frequency change proof. See ya. Yep. I can't believe they were able to squeeze me in. My 3 Bravo Golf, trap your phone just off your left wing, 1300. Inside, 793 Bravo Golf. November 9 or 7 Delta, actually make right close traffic this first lap. Right close traffic, 9 or 7 Delta. County 5 is confirming the jump zone is cold. County 5 affirmative, jump zone is cold, just use caution, I have multiple aircraft on final. Traffic, County traffic. Cool. Sirius 1 Charlie Delta, do you have the traffic? Sirius 1 Charlie Delta, make a tight right 360. Traffic, traffic, ahead traffic. And I'm traffic, the the traffic. Now. Making a tight right 360, 1 Charlie Delta. All right, let's add a little power too. You know why? Because I want to keep myself above traffic pattern altitude, which is 900, and I'm to about 1300. And if there's somebody underneath me, like right there, there's a helicopter. I need to make sure I'm flying above it, even if it's a few hundred feet. 75 frequency change through that. Roger that. Keep your eyes peeled, Charlie. Charlie Delta, on that rollout, you'll still be number three, following Cessna, two mile final, runway 26, clear to land. I appreciate the help. Sorry, was that last call for one Charlie Delta? Here's one Charlie Delta, affirmative. On your rollout, you'll still be number three, following that Cessna, two mile final, runway 26, clear to land. I appreciate the help. All right, number three, runway 26, and any day, man. Watch Charlie Delta. Cherokee 380 left at Bravo Contact Ground Point 8. See ya. Bravo Contact Ground, November 380. Yeah, I think I'm flying over my house here. Let's go. Sorry, make a right 360 for spacing. Had a couple of 360 back in North Carolina. These guys are working so hard, November they still five, thank Romeo you whenever you're doing something right just for safety. Five Romeo Papa, right 360. Dude, Dude. Three, six, back you're North helping me too, you know what I mean? 360, go back. Twin Diamond Star 9 or 7 Delta, number 4, follow Sirius 4 mile final, runway 26, cleared for the option, on the go, resume left close. Cleared for the option. 26, cleared for the option, on the go, um, 7 Delta. All right, all right. Now let's get ourselves back. Good Lord, guys. It's a day in the life of a class Delta often flying pilot. Did I say that right? Bang, Camarillo Tower, 81 Whiskey, holding short runway 26 for IFR release. Sorry, I'm sorry, 881 Whiskey, Camarillo Tower, Roger, waiting up early. 30% uh, power, get ourselves a sweet little Boeing-esque descent out of the sky. I got my runway 26 dead ahead. Looking pretty good. Three miles away. About that, I want to be at about 900, so I'm a little high. Let's pull a little power back. But that's no big deal. And I'm also flying way too fast. November 5, Romeo Papa, number 4, following a twin diamond star, extending in the opposite downwind. Runway 26, clear to land. Number 4, clear to land, 5, Romeo Papa. Twin Diamond Star, 9 or 7, Delta, I'll call your base. You'll call our base, right, 9 or 7, Delta. Get flaps fifth or full in. So I'll pull the nose up a little bit, go to idle, 104. Diamond Star, 881, Whiskey Cessna in the upwind left, close, runway 26, clear for immediate takeoff, traffic, mile and a half, final, Cirrus. 26, clear for immediate takeoff, 81, Whiskey. Diamond Star, you better 9 get on it, boy. Delta, turn base. Turn base, 9 7, Delta. 500, yeah. Cirrus 1, Charlie Delta 1, departure Friday, arrival on an immediate. I got inside, watch all the other. Roger. So it's a 5-6 Juliet, start to right downwind. Starting right downwind, 5-6 Juliet. You better hit it, boy. Let's give it a little bit more Experimental power. 5 Romeo Papa, twin diamond star you're following is a 3 mile Traffic. right base. This is the traffic. Uh, don't see him. Call my base if you don't mind. We'll go. Cessna 5156 Juliet, contact Point Magoo departure 124.7. See ya. 124.7. Have a good day. 56 Juliet.
Five Romeo Papa, got him in sight. Roger. All right. Ground effect, one way made. All right, let's go ahead and start our. Ooh, shit. Little power, little power, little power. Because I fucked up on that one. All right. There we go. Good lord. Sorry about my mouth. Serious one, Charlie Delta. Left to Charlie, contact ground point eight. See ya. Left to Charlie and over to ground. One Charlie Delta. Have a great day, guy. You too. Assessment three, Bravo Golf number three, follow experimental two mile left base, runway two six. Cleared for the option. Yeah, so. Number three, clear for the option. Uh, seven, I'll tell you what happened right now. Two, six. Seven, I'll tell eight, you eight, what eight, I did. Eight, to screw eight, up eight. my almost eight, perfect eight, landing. Eight, eight. Helicopter 36, go back north side on the go. Helicopter 36, go back north side. Get some AC going, yeah. 36, go back. Camarillo Tower, Sirius 903 Golf Sierra is on the RNAV Zulu 26 practice approach. Uh, we'd like a little. All right, over to ground. Traffic, traffic. Why are you still on? All right, here we go. Let's talk to ground. Camarillo Ground, Sierra 381, Charlie Delta is clear. Runway 26 at Charlie, going back to CIA. Sierra 31 Charlie Delta, camera ground, taxi Channel Islands via Foxtrot. To Channel Islands via Foxtrot, 1 Charlie Delta, thank you. Okay, so what did I do? Let's turn the boost off real quick. And we're good on that. Let's clear that. Let's clear that. Okay, so as I was coming in, um, I pulled the power at a, at a fair time. I was fine. That wasn't my problem. My problem was I started my flare too soon. So what does that do? You start, as you start to flare, you start to, and you had no power in, you start to sink, and then what happens is, in my little bird brain, I'm like, oh god, I don't want to hit the, the concrete too hard, so you pull back a little bit. Well, then, all of a sudden, you balloon. Once you balloon, you're not going to keep pulling back. In my opinion, you just give it a squirt of power, and thing is, I got 6,000 feet of runway here. If you do this at a small little airport, forget it. Go around. But with all this runway, it's like, okay, 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 okay. We could fix this. Just a little squirt of power, and then you'll feel yourself kind of just coast along, and then you pull your power again once you've gotten control and your bearings back, and then go ahead and put it back. You know, start pulling back again so you can come in for a nice landing. So, the, you know, the, the second round of it, it was fine. It, it touched down real soft and all that. But Man, ye, that happens. You know what I mean? Every once in a while, you're like, um, you do something dumb like that. It's not, it happens all the time. Um, I just take a lot of pride in being able to touch down soft. And that time, um, yeah, I got a little balloon in there, but hey, I, you got the cure. Little throttle. Get yourself back, you know, as long as you have enough runway. If you don't have enough runway, you full throttle and you get the heck out of there. And you go back into the pattern and you try it again. Because, uh, yeah, you're not going to have enough runway if you have this little 2,500-foot runway or 3,000 or something. Not in a serious chale. Not going to happen. You know what I mean? These things are forgiving, but they're not that dang forgiving. So, anyways. Well, guys, having a serious is a, a whole heck of a lot of fun. Uh, opens up your world to a ton of stuff, you know, flying different places. You know, I love driving, but I love flying a little more, you know, pretty stinking rad. And today it was just turbulent. Good Lord. The winds are starting to change. They're starting to go uh, into the Santa Ana's where they're going to start coming from the east. And it's just, it's all over the place up there right now. Pretty crazy. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And all of that stuff, man.